thing is, even though AA are pushing the mid lane, there's so much wave clear available to Fnatic. They're going to go in anyway. 5 on 4. Look wow. at the burst damage onto everybody. It's going to be the fire on back side. And trying to run away will drop to Ignite. So Slay taking a bunch of damage in the back. Elise repelling back up, but the kill is still found out of Jarvis. But they fire one back. It's going to be Yellowstar taken down. Now yeah. goes Pekka from the backhand side. He finds Tiyun. That's going to crush his KDA in half. He's waiting. He pops the ultimate double kill. And only Slay is alive. The fact that they've all been low and forced to recall means that Gensel Authority are going to get a lot of free time on this Baron, and they've got a huge amount of damage with that Infinity Edge Zeal no-no. So they're chunking it down to about 50%. A couple of the enemies of Fnatic are close by. Can they pick up any sort of steal? It's going to be really close. Baron is now down to about one-third health. Peke finds a little bit of harass on a Slay, but not nearly enough. They're being slowed down as well, and Raider wants to go in. Will they find the steal they're looking for? Blue he Demon Stroll and Baron Dasher. Then here comes the burst damage. Cleanup crew is here. One, two, three kills so far. Can they chase Internals down? Team, because that death mark can get popped off, and Godbro takes such a long time to kill people with poison. Not really counted it. The fight looks like it's about to break out as the Gambit members want the tower. I don't think the Wolves really can. They're fighting against a Baron buff team. They're actually going to go in. Godbro has nowhere to go right now. Gets knocked up by Lulu as well. The ult comes out, and look at that giant orange bubble. Darian refusing to go down. Now's the time for Wolves to fight. 5v4. They've got to do something, I feel like. This turn is just dropping faster and faster and faster. Will they go in to fight this one? Diamond now in the middle of the attention. Svenskara drop lower and lower. Bullet time picks up the kill. They're going into Alex Itch. Will it be enough? Looks like it's not going to be double kill now for Genja. And they turn back onto the test. Do they have the slow? There's the Glitter Lance. Diamond pulls turret aggro. Now Derry, the one who's getting hit a whole bunch, but he lands the stun. He survives. He just gets healed enough that he survives that one. Kale made that one happen. Triple kill now for Genja. The inhibitor is dead and they're going to keep moving forward. If anybody is watching and you have a League of Legends team of your own, rewind that. Watch it again and again because that is how you team fight. That is how you kite your opposition. And that is how you control a game and a map. Be close in there. Actually, they are going to use everything on him. The box even catching him there with one side. The bullet time comes across, but it's not really doing too much damage. There's a slow coming down from the other people. The laser after the light binding. He's going to take down one. Almost took him. A little bit of vision towards the entry, but not on the dragon pit. So they're going to have to engage blind. Equalizer is available, but there's the vision they need. And towards Candy Panda, who's absolutely nuked down here, Oslo. Now take a look at this. Candy Panda alone in the bottom lane. The Blade of the Rune King slows him, and he might get away here for a little bit for a little bit. That was a good display rounded into that one because Frog and SK, they know how they throw games in this position before. They have been this close to winning before in games. Oh, they end up losing him as Frog and snipes off Nip. Piercing Arrow, drop his HP by a third. He cannot take that nope. amount of poke. They've caught Oslo and what an hourglass. I mean, where EG just wants to pick someone off, but because they lost control of their jungle, because Edwards always has an Oracle on him now, they just can't do anything. We do see Edward getting caught right now, though. Oh, he flashes the wall and actually manages to juke away from the Varus ulti, but they've got a 5v4 and he goes back in. It's going to be a bunch of damage on the Genja. Frog in the middle finds the loot ult as well. There's the unstoppable force used on the Genja, but he does not go down. Frog is really under pressure. Legendary Alex wow. finds one, two, three, four. Oh. Is it going to be five? I can't actually tell. Everyone is dead. And it is. It's a penta kill. Penta kill for Alex Edge. Thanks for watching the weekly top five plays. Make sure to subscribe and visit ESFIWorld.com for more League of Legends coverage. For double golems, so we do see uh, someone backing. Not sure who that is exactly, but oh, he's going to come in here and he might get spotted, he might get caught, and it might be first blood here. He's going to walk right by. One's already recalled back. He's actually stealth. Oh my god! Oh, oh he's stealth. Why does he went through the brush? And he's like, oh, it's fanatic peace. Oh, oh my, my god. god, Candy Panda. <laughs>